Hi there. I'm Danny Gregory, and this is Draw With Me. And you're here, hopefully, to do the same, to draw with me. I'm trying something new, as you noticed, as our beginning. I showed all of the fantastic art that you made last week. So last week we drew uh, an unfortunate incident in uh, my son's life where his car was unfortunately met its end. He was fine. He still is fine. In fact, he has a new car. He's already bought a new car in the time since we met. Um, and so I asked you, know, you all to draw with me and to draw his car. And there were so many fantastic drawings, as there are every week. So I thought, this is a great opportunity to share what we're doing here at the beginning. So I think I'm going to keep doing that if you're a game. Um, as you can see right below my neck here is the word hashtag SBS draw with me. So if you use hashtag SBS draw with me, when you post your drawing on social media, today's drawing, I'll be able to find it and we can share it in next week's uh, beginning. Okay, I think that's going to be really fun. Uh, the ones I have today, I also pulled from the sketchbook school schoolyard. Hopefully you've heard about the schoolyard. Some of you may be um, coming here from Facebook. And if you are, you may have heard that we are closing down the Sketchbook School group in on Facebook because for a year now we've been polishing and working on the amazing schoolyard. And the schoolyard is, is a fantastic, to me, replacement for Facebook. I go to the schoolyard all the time. I love hanging out there. Frankly, I don't go to Facebook that much anymore. But I meet so many great artists and friends there. So I thought, you know, it's time that we move away from Facebook altogether. We waited for a year to kind of cross paths. We've done it. So now you can join the schoolyard. All you have to have done is at some point in your past, taken a, a class or workshop or something like that with us. And um, you can join us. So I hope you will. And I'd love to see you there. And, and if you do, and you post your drawing there, it'll be easy for me to find and to show next week. So is the schoolyard social media, Robert asks. Uh, I don't know. Is it? I like to think of it as a private community, so uh, an online community. So not really. I don't think it is media. We don't have ads on it. You know, we don't have anything like that. So, you know, um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, my wife tells me I'm a bit blurry. But, you know, I didn't sleep very well last night, so it's not really surprising. So, yes. There we go. Is that better? Good. Thank you. Thanks for the heads up. It's great. To, it's great to know that my wife watches this and can come in at the last minute. So anyway, so yes, Facebook, you know, you can be on it all you want, do what you like on it. But if you want to come to an environment where everybody just talks about art and friendship and we don't talk about all the kind of goobery stuff that people sometimes encounter, you can find it out there. So so anyway, um, but we still also have um, uh, our regular uh, Sketchbook School news page on Facebook, so you can still find out stuff that's going on there. Anyway, all right, what was I saying? So um, yes, that was one of many things that I want to talk to you about today. It's been very busy. I don't know. Are you busy? I feel like overwhelmingly busy with stuff. There's just all kinds of things going on. Um, we're clearly at a, at a time of, of change, a time of stress. You know, it's autumn, time of, you know, transformation, I guess. Uh, here in Phoenix, the leaves are not really turning brown, but back in New York, I think they're turning golden and brown, and, and uh, that is inspiring. So... All right, so that's one thing I want to talk about. Another thing I want to talk about was um, a workshop that we're doing this weekend. It is called Ballpoint Birds with Gigi Chen. And i got to tell you, this is um, one of my favorite workshops we've ever done. And let me show you why. I'm just going to transition here to this. So these are drawings that people who've taken this workshop have done of birds. You know, so many amazing drawings that are, I mean, there's, they're both lifelike and almost photographic, but they also have so much personality. And it's just wonderful to see all the different versions that people have done and how 
you know, they're still personal. They're still personal. But this craft, this technique that they've learned from Gigi is really extraordinary. And they all learned this in a couple of hours. A lot of these people had never drawn birds before, had never drawn with a ballpoint pen before, really. And they learned these techniques um, from Gigi. Gigi is an incredible artist. She was at SketchCon, if you were there. Um, and she's also just a wonderful teacher. So if you haven't signed up for it yet, you still can. It's going to be this this Saturday. Um, and then we're going to have a feedback session on Sunday. And you can sign up here at sketchbookschool.com slash workshop dash ballpoint birds. Or just go to sketchbookschool.com. You'll find your way there. But that's the, that's the way to get there directly. So um, you can sign up and we will see. Uh, we will see you there, I hope, because... I'm telling you that what's so interesting about these techniques that I learned from, from ballpoint birds, I like to draw birds. I like to draw lots of other things. And a lot of the, 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 the kind of techniques that I learned about how to get so much tonal range out of a ballpoint pen, you think it's a very simple object. It's a very simple tool. Um, but there is so much variation that you can get and you can um, create real dimension. And I mean, just look at this drawing right next to me. This is done with a ballpoint bird. I mean, this bird here, the GG, no, there. Yes, there. This bird, that's a ballpoint drawing. And so learning these techniques means you can apply them to anything. You can draw anything. You can draw cars, you can draw buildings, you can draw portraits. Gigi shows us some amazing portraits in this workshop that she does too. So, um, and she's just, really fun. As Claire says, she is so much fun and inspiring. She is. She's a real artist and she really talks about art in that way and yet is a great teacher. So that is not always the case. So that is really fun and I hope you can join us for that. Just a couple of other things. Every so often I mention this, Danny's List. Danny's List is my weekly email. Um, every week I write an essay about art, creativity, stuff I find interesting, stuff I'm thinking about. Um, it's not how to draw kinds of stuff. It's really why to draw. What, why, what happens when you can't draw? What, ha what is it to be an artist? Um, what are some of the things that I wrestle with that maybe will be familiar to you? So I've been writing, I mean, I've been writing about this subject on my blog for almost 20 years. I stopped doing my blog so that I could do this email because I want to devote my time and energy to writing to you and making sure that you get this every Friday. And when you do, you're inspired. And then you, um, you, know, you make more art and uh, share it with me and the world's a better place. So anyway, um, so if you sign up for this, it's free. Sign up, I'll send it to you. There's no obligation, there's no it doesn't put you on any marketing lists. It's just you and me. Um, but yeah, people seem to like it a lot. Reese, for the, I don't know, the last couple of months, people have been saying to me, why don't you make this into a book? Because I'm really writing a lot of them. I don't know. Maybe one day I will. Uh, I haven't done a book since last year. And uh, maybe it's time to do something like this. We'll see. Could be. Could be fun. Um, if you don't like email, you might like texting. This is another thing that uh, I've been doing of late, which is texting with people. And uh, every day I sort of send out stuff. In fact, I sent out this morning, I sent out a text because I was saying, hey, don't forget to come to draw with me. So maybe you're here because you got that text, in which case it worked. Um, so yeah, it's just that I send you a text. If you want to, you can send me a text back. I'll send you a picture of a drawing I did and uh, or an idea that I had or a, uh, an exhibit that I th saw or an artist I discovered. Most days I send something out if the, if the mood strikes me. Um, and you know you can write back to me and you can say, I liked it or did you see this? And I'm learning a lot of stuff from the folks who are texting me. So it's a really fun experience for me as well. And texting is cool. It's like right there by, in your pocket. You know, it takes one second. They're always short. Um, I often send pictures too. So so that is that. And then finally, I want to tell you about something that is mysterious at this point, but is going to get to be less so. And it is this thing. Can I point to it? Yes. This is the most exciting thing that I've worked on in a long time, possibly ever. In a way, it is bringing together 
everything that I've been working on since since I started to draw, before I started to write about drawing even. So this is like, a, I hate to say it, but it's almost 25 years of thinking about a bunch of stuff and it's all culminating in this thing. So, um, and, I can, and I can point at it quite well. Um, so this thing, I'm gonna be telling you more about it in the next couple of weeks. There are some people, maybe you, who have already begun to experience this thing and uh, have been telling me amazing things about it that make me feel so happy and I'm so glad that this thing is about to happen. So anyway, that's enough of that. This is, uh, this is gonna be something, I, I, I think it's gonna be my life. I mean, I think, it's, it, I think it could be your life too. I think it's gonna be something pretty, pretty amazing and pretty fun. And uh, every day that I'm involved with it, I, ugh, I, it bugs me that I can't tell you about it. Because maybe you've been saying, what's going on with Sketchbook School? What's going on with Danny? There seem to be changes. I don't really understand it. It all will come down to this. This will be the answer once it is revealed. And you'll say, oh, now I get it. Now I see why all these things were happening. Oh my, that is amazing. Totally makes sense now. So trust me, at least for a couple more weeks. All right, let's draw. Are you ready to draw with me now that we have, let me turn off the, uh, turn this guy off. Um, so yes, and let me turn him off too. So yes, um, today we're gonna draw shoes. I like to draw shoes. Um, I, I think that they're very interesting objects. They have personality because they are part of us. They're pieces of design. They're interesting three-dimensional objects. And, um, you know, there's just lots of drawing challenges in drawing a pair of shoes. We also all have them. Although, I've, I'll be honest with you, I am rarely wearing shoes these days. Ever since I came to the desert, I've been walking around barefoot. But I do have still have shoes, and we and I can still draw them. But today I'm just going to put up a, a photo or two of of, of uh, shoe. So hey, here's my uh, here's my f my drawing of Jack's car from last time. Um, but I'm going to work on this page today instead. Okay, let's put up a shoe. Let's have a look at a shoe. Um, uh, let us try. Let's try a sneaker. You know, um, something like. Let me see. I think I had a sneaker around here somewhere, didn't I? Well, let's try this guy. Okay. Um, I'll move him here. Yeah, I'll put him over here so he's covering that old drawing. Okay, so so there you go. That is, that is uh, it's a Converse All-Star, classic, high top. And uh, it should be fun to draw. It should be, it should be interesting. Um, I am not sure, I think I'm gonna draw, I have this, uh, these, okay. These are pens that I had forgotten that I had because I had left them in New York. And um, they, are, they are fantastic. Um, they are Ecoline brush pens. Ecoline. Or Ecoline. I don't know how it's pronounced. Ecoline. But um, these are fantastic pens. Learned about them from my friend Carlos Aponte. And they are just beautiful colors. So I think I'm going to start try drawing with them today. It may, it may prove to be um, too thick. I don't know. We'll see. But that's kind of what I was thinking I would draw with. So, Ecoline, the 700 brush pen. All right. I'm going to get rid of his name. But, uh, yeah, I'm trying to be clearer here with Draw With Me so that you can, you can draw with me without having lots of, of questions about what the hell I'm talking about. So, I'm trying to use the technology to answer questions uh, in, before you have to ask them. Because uh, as it should be, not that this is necessarily a highly informational piece of programming, but uh, it is, it could be, it could be better. And so I'm gonna try and make it so. These shoes are kind of cool. I've never been a huge fan of wearing them, though. I don't know. 
I think I don't have the right shaped feet for them. And uh, they can be kind of uncomfortable after a while, but they're, you know, they're, they're certainly cool looking, classic. If you prefer to draw your own shoes or some shoes you would like to have, by all means. Or if you choose to draw something completely other, please do that too. All you have to do is draw with me. Or if you choose not to, if you choose to just uh, sit there and watch, you can do that too. This is a very lenient policy about... Uh, you know, you having whatever experience you want to have. So. Okay, so that's not bad. That's not a bad rendering of this thing. Um, what do you think? Now, I think I'm going to color it in because I've got these beautiful, luscious colors here. And uh, I think I'll color it. I don't think that uh, you can necessarily get, whoops, that you can necessarily get Converse All-Stars in uh, this green color. we will find out. Well, oh, I've completely lost the cap. That's so annoying. All right, well, I'll, I'll have to get it later on. It's literally rolled completely into a place that's difficult to get to. So anyway, deck it with it. So, yeah. See, this is one of the one minor drawback, one, or at least the thing you have to be careful about with these Ecolinas is they are not waterproof. So if you, um, if you aren't careful, you can reanimate your black line, as, as you can see I've done, and then it becomes a little, a little um, you know, messy if, because you get a bit of bleed there. But uh, that's okay. Because I'll show you in a second why you how or how at least you can use the property of a pen that isn't waterproof. Because you can say to yourself, like, why on earth would you ever want a pen that wasn't waterproof? You know, why would you want this? Well, let me show you now. Let me pull uh, let me pull this color out of the bin. So this is uh, kind of more of a golden color, and I can kind of just mix and blend this color into it, so it's just, just a little bit more interesting. And the colors kind of blend together. They get a little bit dirty. You can see my nib is a bit dirty there, but fortunately, I am prepared, and I can just, oh, you see that guy? <laughs> Totally forgot that I drew him on a phone call yesterday. I wonder why. Sort of, uh, anyway. um, yeah, so now I'm going to take uh, another color. Take this bluish color. Maybe add a bit of that to it, too. Yeah. So, okay, so these are kind of like slightly scuffed, slightly dirty. Sneakers. I have the, I have quite a number of these gray ones. Are they all the same? Seven one seven. They have uh, they have numbers on them. Seven one eight. Seven one eight. Seven one seven. So I think I'll take the seven one seven, and I think I'll just add just a little bit of gray to it, just to give it a bit of a bit of three dimensionality. And oh yeah, this thing. I should make that into a color too. What if I made it red so that it was, you know, the complement? All right, there you go. Eccolina converse. Now let's draw the converse. Hey, that was a good joke. 
Uh, here's the here's the converse. So, the converse of the converse might be <clears throat> to draw this angle. So we could do that. But I think I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch pens. Just because I'm not sure that I want to deal with that bleed issue again. So yeah, so I'm going to switch to this pen. The old trusty. I've talked about this pen many times before. I'll talk about it again. Here it is. Yes, it is the Tombow WSBH150. That's his full name, also known as the Calligraphy Pen. Put it right on here. Calligraphy Pen. So yeah, I like this pen because it is squishy, but hard at the same time. Yes. How is that possible, you ask yourself? I have no idea. Fiendishly clever pen engineers, I guess. But yeah, so I'm just going to do a small little version of, you know, because this is, this is kind of a case in point of what I was saying about shoes. You turn the angle, and suddenly this thing that seemed relatively easy to draw, whoops, I did not mean to do that. Okay. I can deal with it. I did not, I was not, I was looking so hard at the shoe that I did not pay attention to the fact that I was colliding with this earlier version. But I'm just going to fake my way out of it. I'll fake it because I, um, I'll turn things that were, this thing that was supposed to be at the top, that was supposed to be kind of in the middle, I'm going to turn it into the top. And I'll just, you know, just, just fake it till you make it. You know, fortunately, the art police has been decommissioned. They are no longer showing up to uh, to give out tickets or take you to art court to explain why is it that you drew too many windows on that building. We had them counted, and we discovered that uh, you were distorting reality. And that is, as you know, against the art law. Well, it isn't. There isn't. And don't worry about it. So, yeah, there you go. Okay, yeah, this'll do. I'm not quite as pleased with it as I was before with my other one. So it comes from not paying attention. I mean, really, that was like the equivalent of, you know, when you're, you're backing out of a space and you're looking over your shoulder in one direction and then you don't notice that suddenly somebody's coming from another direction. That's what that was. It was an art collision. It was a drawing accident, literally an accident, but the 14th, nobody was hurt. The drawing has been salvaged. It lives to draw another day. I'm going to have, do I want to use this again? No, nah, boring, right? I've got all these other colors. Let's pick something better or different. Let's try this pink. OK, so now, as you can see, I, don't, I have no worries anymore about bleeding. I'm just going nuts. I can just scribbly, scrabbly all over this thing because there's no way that this line is going to bleed anymore. I'm not, not concerned. And see, see what I'm doing also here is I'm layering as I layer, as I layer this, it makes it darker, gives it a bit more dimensionality. And, uh, pull in another one. This is a different color. This is magenta, whereas what I was using before was red violet. So yes, so there we go. Yeah, let's give it a, let's use that green, because I've got that uncapped still, so I want to make sure that uh, take advantage of what could be its waning days, because it's possible that after this I'll go, oh, you know what, I really can't find that cap, and this beautiful pen is, is now on life support.
I don't know. All right, there we go. Pair of shoes. What kind of paper am I using? The old question. This is paper that comes directly from a tree. It is tree paper. It is, no, this is a moleskin watercolor paper. Watercolor book, moleskin. Skinned moles, they take hundreds of moles, they skin them, and they make sketchbooks out of them. Or maybe it comes from dermatologists when they cut off the moles from people who have moles all over them. And then they gently shave them and uh, remove the skin from the moles. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that that's what they do. I'm just, I just use them. All right, so now let's, let's pick another shoe. What, we have time. It's only, it's, we're only not even half an hour into this mess. Let's try something else. Do you mind? Do you mind if we do? Oof, how about that? What do you think? Let me move over here. Let's put that shoe there and just look at it for a minute. What do you think? It is, I'm not sure how I feel about this shoe. It's very, uh, ah. It has a lot of personality too. Let's put it that way, okay? Are you all reacting to uh, to this shoe or to my moleskin? My moleskin. My mole, revealing the truth about moleskins. Yeah. Let's draw this this guy. Or I guess it's not a guy, really, right? It's probably a lady shoe. But. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to get this so that you can see it. And see my drawing too. Um, okay. So, as I may have mentioned to you in the past, few weeks we uh we've been moving and one of the things that we've been doing is is purging and it's interesting to me that my wife as we were pur as we were purging um going through our closets and getting rid of stuff she announced that she was no longer going to be wearing high heel shoes ever again ever again and so with that, she gave up her high heel shoes. I think I've made this too tall. I think I'm going to have to cut it off here instead. Yeah. Um, yeah, so she's, uh, she's now going to be shorter, probably more comfortable. I mean, I wonder if the pandemic has has caused a lot of people to feel that way about uncomfortable footwear. Do you feel that way? Do you, uh, are you no longer wearing restrictive garments of any kind? Are you now wearing the loose and flowing to accommodate perhaps some other changes that have happened to your body during these months of anxiety and, uh, Self-indulgence, therapeutic self-indulgence. I might I hasten to add. Yeah, that's wrong. How do I do this? This back part of this is very. It's tricky. Yeah, because I think I screwed this part up here at the back. I've already screwed it up, so um, this, but I might be wrong. It might just be all about a matter of that line coming down. Yeah, I think I did screw it up. All right, so that was part of the exercise, was to learn what is challenging about a shoe like this. Besides wearing one, I imagine that... Uh, 
you know, drawing it can be uncomfortable too. So we're figuring that out as it should be. Who knows? Maybe this is a comfortable shoe. I think I'm sure, I imagine that uh, if you wear these kinds of shoes a lot, they're perfectly comfortable. I rarely do. Yes. Cynthia says, some people are recommending putting on your jeans on once a week. Are they? Why? I recommend changing your life so you never need to. Uh, does that mean putting on your jeans so that because they're... Um, to see if they can fit? Or is it putting them on because... I mean, jeans used to be casual clothing. Is that what it's about? You know what? I don't think I'm going to spend much time more on the shoe. I, I'm, I'm not enjoying it. It's too difficult. It's, it's not that it's too difficult. I just don't know what to do with it. And I'm afraid if I start coloring it, it will just make it worse. So let's move on. Let's move on to something that at least to me is more familiar, which is this guy. All right, I'm going to lose this shoe now. Are you ready? Done with it? Too bad, it's gone. All right, so now we have this guy. You know, and I, I've, I've owned shoes like that. Oxfords. Um, Oxfords. I like these shoes because of the little holes. They can, these can be, these are really nice shoes to draw, I gotta say. I mean, we'll see if that proves to be the case now. But, um... All those little holes, and we're doing it in a nice profile, so it shouldn't be too challenging. We've got holes, we've got laces. A bit more challenging because there aren't a huge number of landmarks, or maybe I'm just moving too quickly, but I hope I haven't made it too long, but we'll find that out in a minute. So yeah, shoes. It's nice and quiet. Some of you who have joined me to draw before may be missing the leaf blowers that are standard. They're kind of like, uh, you remember like Doc Severinsen? Or was it, was it more like uh, Ed McMahon used to be on... <laughs> Ed McMahon. Ed McMahon was, for those of you who don't remember, he was uh, Johnny Carson's sidekick on The Tonight Show. And, um, but I think they're more like Doc Severinsen, who is the band leader, right? So they, they are, if I'm Johnny Carson, which I'm obviously not, uh, the leaf blower ensemble. But don't worry, they'll be back next week. And in fact, next week, we are going to draw them. I don't know if I'll be able to get them to actually come in and pose, but uh, we have reference pictures to work from. So they will no, they will no longer just be anonymous voices in the background or anonymous blowers in the background. They will now be become part of art history as they join us here on Draw With Me. And then we'll have hundreds of drawings of these guys um, who do the leaf blowing. And uh, we can do an exhibit of that. What do you think about that idea? I don't, I've never ever heard of an exhibit of portraits of of lawn maintenance men or ladies for that matter um, yeah there's my shoe wingtips are they so they're not oxfords well jen is telling me that they're wingtip brogues and she lives in connecticut so and I think that's the official footwear of uh, Connecticut. 
is the wingtip brogue. And you can't spell brogue without B-R-O. So I'm, just, I'm sure that many a bro wears these shoes now. I don't want to cast aspersions on bros, but you know how it is. Ooh, gold. Is it really gold? It's been so long. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it was. This is what happens. This is what happens when pens aren't capped properly. Yep. Which is an interesting effect, but not the effect I was looking for right now. To figure out some way to uh, bring that guy back. Oh, oh, my God. This is another one down. Another... Yellow ochre. Wow. Dead. This is what happened. They were sitting they were sitting in our apartment. Oof, that's no good. They were sitting in our apartment on on my desk. Oh god. This is tragic. And uh, they were sitting in the sun. This is what happens. So what am I gonna do? Ooh, I wonder if this would work. Yeah. So I'm using a water brush now, and I'm turning, I'm turning this stuff. Even this dried one, probably not, ooh, yes, you see? So I put this dry one into, into the wet areas, and shazam, it's back. You're back. Rebuilt it. You know why? Because I'm in Phoenix. What are you talk what am I talking about, you say? It is risen from the ashes. Like the Phoenix. This is a miraculous place. The desert has many restorative powers. And it works with art supplies too. So Alright, there we have it. You know what? I think I've got to deal with this red shoe. I've just gotta deal with it. But maybe I'll deal with it with these another art supply he brings in yes these are my derwent inktense pencils i didn't plan to use those so i'm not going to be able to put their name on but on the screen but you can see that derwent inktense write it down Oof. learn it live but live it live, may it be your Guiding light, the Derwent Ink Tense Pencil. Because it is... Ooh, I should have to... I'm going to bring... I'm going to get rid of this man's shoe and bring back that elegant pump. See, I've already... I just kind of made up that it was all red, and it isn't. So, it's already taken off. It's no longer part of reality. It is now an... an uh, what do they call it? Um, artist's Rendering? Artist's depiction. Stupid artist didn't pay attention to reality. Painted the wrong colors. So I'm just being kind of scritchy scratchy here because um, because this is not the final application of color, I'm going instead to use a water brush to animate this. So now you'll see, here's the, here's the water brush coming into play. And see how it makes the colors just really vibrant? I think it's really nice. But not a flat color because um, because I've used a few different shades in there, so it's not it's not f it's not as flat as if I just colored with a colored pencil. It's a combination of different things. So there. All right. Well, I'm glad I put some color on that. That made it all the nicer. Let's have a look at our work. 
see how this overall page worked out. Not bad. So now the question is going to be, what am I going to do with this? Because now I suddenly have these random shoes in my sketchbook. I'm going to have to think about something. And what I might do is I might write about creative license, actually. Not poetic license, not artistic license, but creative license, which would be the, a great title for a book. All right. Um, yeah, so I think I, so I was thinking, as I said, I would like to do a little bit of writing here, and I happen to have my, um, my, oof, my Marmite bottle of ink. This is my Marmite bottle of ink. It's been misbehaving. It's been a little bit um, messy of late, but, but it is nonetheless. Let's see if I can get it open. struggling with getting it open because I haven't used it in two days and now suddenly it's misbehaving. Okay, I won't do it then. I won't use that. I will use something else. Um, what should I use? I think I'll use, I'll just go back to using this pen. Yeah, it's annoying when that happens. So, I'm going to write about the fact that the pandemic has affected my my foot wear. I am foot loose and fancy free. Shoeless. All right, these days I'm shoeless as the weather and the pandemic have made me place comfort above decorum. Okay, well, I'm sure I'll think of something more interesting to, to write about than that. Um, maybe later on, after, after I leave you. Um, yeah, I find, uh, I find it, I can, I can draw while talking reasonably well and I can but I can't really write incredibly well while talking particularly when I'm talking about something other than I'm writing so I often find that uh, if I do a little demonstration like this and I'm talking I, I tend to misspell words which is completely out of character I am I pride myself on my uh, literacy and my uh, grammatical acumen but 
somehow drawing and writing, I'm sorry, writing and talking, I guess they're both using the same part of your brain. So it's kind of like you've, you've plugged two things into the same area and they're conflicting. I don't know if you're, if you're a neuroscientist or uh, a neuroanatomist, maybe you could edify. Um, but yeah, so, so I, I'm deciding that while I really like to write and to do fiddly, billy, cal calligraphic stuff, uh, it's difficult to do it on Draw With Me. So maybe Write With Me would be a different show. C.W. Chow says two different sides of the brain, visual language. Well, but no, because I'm, uh, I, I think what it is is that I'm trying to think verbally while writing and think verbally while talking. So there are actually two kinds of, and then also there's the visual part of it where I'm trying to, you know, um, do fancy lettering. It's multitasking, which rarely brings out the best in one. Writing and speaking use the left side of the brain, art use the right side. Yeah, again, sort of true, but I think, again, I'm using... Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So, um, yes, we've gone over a lot today. It's been an action-packed uh, time together. Next week will be even more exciting. Next week will be the 29th of October. So it's almost Halloween. What are you going to do on Halloween? I, I think I'm going to wear a mask. I just have a feeling. <laughs> yes, so um, we'll do something. Uh, I don't know, maybe we'll do something seasonal. Halloween is fun. Even more fun Day of the Dead. Both really fun. Not fun. Day, I mean, you know what I'm saying. Artistically fun time. So, I mean, Halloween's pretty fun. Candy, ghoulishness, mockery, japes, and the like. So yeah, so that's, that could be fun. We could make some art. Um, yeah, so if, if you'd like to do that, or if you want to tell me that you want to do something else, tell me. I may or may not do it, but by all means, reach out to me by texting me. As I told you, now you know how to. Or uh, tomorrow I'm going to be sending out um, an email, and um, I have to actually write it today. Get around to that. I will get around to it. If you sign up, I, I promise that will be the incentive that I need to write it. Because if you don't, why should I bother? Deck with it. I'll just go back to drawing shoes and writing nonsense. But if you say no, 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 I want I want you to write to me. I will. Um, all right. Well, thank you for discussing. I mean, did you think we would spend as much time discussing footwear today? Maybe. Maybe you did. Maybe, maybe you like it. Um, it's been fun anyway. Um, yes. And what else can I tell you? Oh, yes. I'll be thinking about it. I'm getting excited about it. I hope you are too. I hope you're thinking, hmm. I hope you're also thinking, hmm, ballpoint birds of Gigi Chen. Got to do that. Got to sign up for that. Um, and what else are you thinking about? Of course, you're thinking about Danny's list. I know, I know. I'm going to do that. And then finally, one last time, yes, you're going to be texting with me. It's going to be fun. We won't do anything, you know, it's not that kind of texting. It's not, we're not, I'm not Jeffrey Tubin. It's not going to be that kind of thing. Don't worry about it. A lot of people are getting caught in those kinds of scandals these days. But me, I'm more interested in ballpoint birds. So, and shoes. But again, not in that way. Sorry, I'm a little nutty today, a little loopy. It has been, as I said, a, 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 a very interesting and challenging week. But uh, it's almost over. It's Little Friday today. Tomorrow's Big Friday. And then it's Ballpoint Birds Day. 
and then it's Bullpoint Birds Feedback Day, and then it's Monday again. So it's, it's action-packed. If you want to see me just about every day, you can. I'll be here on the, uh, on the, on the worldwide interweb doing stuff, drawing stuff, thinking about stuff, thinking about shoes. I've got to drink more coffee. This, this isn't really working. Half calf. That's what this is. Half calf. Only half. Small cup too. You know? Gotta be moderate. Gotta be moderate. Thank you very much for joining me and for indulging me. I know this has been painful at times, but I hope that there have been a few gems in the dung heap that glisten to you and will inspire you and help you move forward with the rest of your week or weekend. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you eventually. I'll see you next Thursday. Or maybe this Saturday. I don't know. We'll see each other. This is not the end. This is not the end of this relationship. It's merely, um, you know, a minor cul-de-sac. <laughs>